What makes Codeplay different than the so other we, software companies? We totally base ours on open standards that the industry agrees on. It's come through the gaming, it's come through mobile phones, using of open standards. It's going to apply to automotive as well. Traditionally, automotive has been very optimized and very uh, proprietary implementations. The way the industry is going in automotive, they've got to get these fast gains with the available engineering resource. Open standards is the way to do it, and we are the leaders in bringing open standards to these platforms. All right, I'm now sitting down with Charles McFarland, who is the VP of Marketing for a company called Codeplay, not to be uh, mixed up with the band Coldplay that hasn't come out Please with anything don't mix them in a really, uh, they haven't come out with anything in a really long time. Now, we're talking about behind the scenes of technology, which is something we don't really talk about that much. Tell me a little bit more about what Codeplay does. So Codeplay is a, a company, we're based in Scotland, we're about 70 people today. We very much lead bringing middleware software into lots of different processors. As we go into artificial intelligence, there's lots more different flavors of processors, but we've worked through all the graphics processors and uh, other types of processors that come out of that. So in chips, you find there's a, an array of different types of processors in there, from a normal CPU to a graphics processor to DSPs to vector processors. <laughs> and so as we move into artificial intelligence, there's a new breed of processors coming in, uh, and that's neural network processors that help artificial intelligence. So we enable chip companies and processor companies with this layer called OpenCL. Now, that's still quite a, a, a tough programming language, and there's a layer on top of that. Now, we've come through all the gaming environment, we've come through mobile phones, um, and we've seen that programming in C++ is the way to do it. Uh, so there's a layer on top of OpenCL called Sickle, S-Y-C-L. I feel like I should be taking notes. So you should take notes, <laughs> but hierarchy, if you draw it, you've got processors, you've got an OpenCL implementation, which is very well established through mobile phones and other industries. Then you've got a layer on top of that called Sickle, and that takes you to what you would learn at school, at university, learning how to program in C++. So it's very much off the shelf C++. But and what does this mean for the end consumer exactly? So the end consumer, so what we do is we connect AI to silicon. So you have your applications, your machine learning, and you can now easily connect that down to almost anybody else's processors that do. Processors, combination of processors, neural network processors. And that means the developer can easily take his program and deploy it onto different platforms without special optimization, without large teams to, to do that porting work for you. So it's more efficient way it's an efficient, to it's optimize this sort of technology. It's faster, people are already, you said yourself, you had a year mm -hmm. of training on C++, so the engineering resource is now out there. They don't have to be specialized and trained and spend a lot of effort, so it's quicker, more resources, easier to get that, uh, these applications out there. And then what does that mean for the actual devices that the technology So the on? devices, we, we, the end users are typically people like uh, you, you You've got uh, smart cameras, uh, IoT devices, you've got uh, server, cloud compute, where they can send uh, your voice or your video or your photos onto the cloud and they will analyze that in an intelligent way. One, in, one industry in particular at the moment that we're seeing great, um, great uh, movement in is the automotive industry. Uh, ADAS in automotive is uh, the driver assist solutions. You know, Self-parking, collision avoidance, uh, all these features within the car. That all requires vision processing. Mm -hmm. And so in automotive, you're seeing ADAS as a, a, as a marketplace, and ultimately that will continue all the way through to the autonomous vehicle, uh, which will have intelligent driving, intelligent steering. And that's all good for safety, and it's good for the drivers as well. Well, I mean, that's really where the industry is headed, but what makes Codeplay different than the so other we, software companies? So we totally base ours on open standards that the industry agrees on. It's come through the gaming, it's come through mobile phones, using of open standards. It's going to apply to automotive as well. Traditionally, automotive has been very optimized and very uh, proprietary implementations. The way the industry is going in automotive, they've got to get these fast gains with the available engineering resource. Open standards is the way to do it, and we are the leaders in bringing open standards to these platforms. What is your background, Charles? I'm a, originally a chip designer, so I've uh -huh. uh, designed many chips for people like um, Philips, uh, for Broadcom more recently, uh, into mobile phones. So we were working with the latest, very powerful 
uh, CPUs, graphics processors, and other special processors. So that's my background. When you're doing graphics processors for mobile phones, the evolution of that far exceeded Moore's law. Um, it was incredible for about five years, the progress of the GPU, graphics processor, yeah. run. It was, it was scarily fast. So that if you were designing a chip for two years' time, you had to make it effectively about eight, 10 times the performance of what you were seeing on the market today. So the evolution was spectacular. And then they were also bringing in all this compute power onto mobile phones, which is bringing AI. Today, that's now bringing artificial intelligence onto the client, onto your phone, mm -hmm. as well as into like, smart cameras in your home. Now, we are Take The Lead, which is a play on words for taking the lead. What does taking the lead mean to you? Within Codeplay, we are very much the leaders in bringing middleware software. Uh, and with automotive especially, we are the first company we are today, as far as I understand, the, the only company bringing open standards to automotive to accelerate this ADAS technology. So we are, we are certainly, uh, I would say, the first company that just about all your big global companies will come to. They will come to us first to solve the toughest problems. That makes us the leaders in this environment.